Mr. Chair, I don't recall a roll call being taken of, did we do a roll call? Ms. Chester? Here. Mr. Cho? Here. Ms. McLaughlin? Here. Ms. Utman? Mr. Warmbrun? Here. Mr. Weisskopf? Here. And Mr. Welch? So the following case is a request by Mr. Ite Segev and Dara Goldman for a major variance to allow a change in the required front yard setback from 25 feet to zero feet at 410 West Florida in the R1 single family residential zoning district. So quickly summarized in subject properties located in West Urbana, the far southern tip of the West Urbana neighborhood along Florida Avenue. It's zoned R1 single family residential the surrounding homes are also single family homes. Across the street is a green space. And a little further back, which is not visible on the overhead picture, is um, multi unit apartments. But the applicants are requesting the ability to create an accessory parking space in their driveway or next to their driveway because of changes along Florida Avenue. The street is in a bad state of decay it's going to it's in need of maintenance and repaving but because of uncertainties in the city's uh, capital improvement program uh, revenue uh, the status for repaving it and improving it is uh, delayed indefinitely the as a result the city has had to shift traffic patterns along the street to uh, extend the life of it as long as possible until they can determine when it can be repaved again. That could be anywhere from a year from now, three years from now. Uh, our city engineer has said no longer than 10 years just because that's the absolute longest the street would be able to hold up. But because of shifting the traffic lanes so that it can accommodate traffic better to uh, lengthen the lifespan of the street, they, the, the city has uh, taken away on-street parking spaces along the street. So therefore, cars are no longer allowed to park along the street, and uh, any residents who live along the street are restricted to parking to the off-street parking on their properties or elsewhere. So the applicants are requesting a major variance, as I had mentioned, to construct an accessory off-street parking space uh, adjacent to their driveway. Their house was built in the mid-20th century, it exists as a legal nonconformity because it already exists in the required front yard setback of the district. Um, the, the house from the front for the point of the garage is about 21 feet back. And for the R1 district, the required front yard setback is uh, the average of the block face or 25 feet, whichever is greater, but no more than 60. So in this case, most of the other houses on that block are within that range. The average, I think, was 24 feet, so therefore it is automatically 25 feet. So the, the, the house exists as a legal nonconformity, but if they wanted to install an accessory off-street parking space, they would need to put that in the front yard because of just the mere existence of the house. The the way that the property is is shaped 
has very narrow access to the rear yard on either of the side yards. That's very narrow, but like six feet on on the the west side, and eight feet on the east side. So to install an accessory parking space in the rear would be uh, unfeasible uh, and not uh, very not accessible for the most part. So the the applicants are requesting the permission to install a accessory off street parking space in the required front yard setback. I should I should add also that in the zoning ordinance, uh, putting an accessory parking space in the front yard set is not permitted within the front yard setback. So hence why they were requesting a major variance um, to allow them to do so. They are requesting that because on their current pro on their property they are there is one space made available in the in the attached garage and there is space for one automobile to park on the driveway so they have sp space for two automobiles but it's rather restrictive space as it is to back out the car that's parked in the driveway requires the exiting of both vehicles uh, neither vehicle is necessarily not both vehicles are not necessarily allowed to back out independently of each other uh, because of no on street parking made available along Florida Avenue. Uh, so part of the reason why the applicants are requesting a accessory parking space created as indicated in the image sub submitted with their application, the, the, the site plan is so that each automobile may independently pull out uh, at any given time. Also that they could accommodate a third vehicle if need be. But uh, the applicants are requesting the ability to create the accessory off street parking space at the very beginning of the property line to where it would go diagonally to the north and to the east until it reaches a width of about eight feet and then goes further uh, further north. So kind of in a rectangular, uh, I can't think of the name of the shape, but I'm, I'm sorry. Trapezoidal. Trapezoidal. That's it. So, um, so anyways, just to briefly review the property as well, its future land use designation is residential. Current zoning is R1. So with that, there are the, the, the five questions for the variance criteria, special circumstances or practical difficulties with reference to the parcel concerned in carrying out the strict application of the ordinance. The home was purchased when on-street on parking on Florida Avenue was allowed. Uh, the removal of on-street on parking, I th think most people would agree, is a special circumstance. And uh, the placement of the applicant's house being so close to the property line in the required front yard is a practical difficulty. Uh, the, you know, the span of the house across the entire lot. Uh, so therefore, the only practical place that a parking space could be located is in the required front yard. The next question, the proposed variance will not serve as a special privilege because the variance requested is necessary due to special circumstances relating to the land or structure involved or used for occupancy thereof is not generally applicable to other lands or structures. Uh, in our staff analysis, it won't serve as a special privilege due to the special circumstances are not necessarily applicable to ho other homes in the district, given that not every street has off-street parking suddenly restricted in the front um, or the, the very narrow setbacks on the sides, as mentioned previously, um, adding an accessory parking space outside the required front yard. Um, the varying lot si there are varying lot sizes within that neighborhood as well in which some properties would be able to accommodate an off-street parking space um, outside the required yard, but just the, the confines of existing code and uh, this property make it harder to put anywhere else. Third, that the variance requested was not the result of a situation or condition having been knowingly or deliberately created by the petitioner. Um, no, because the petitioners obviously did not si decide to eliminate on-street parking um, the uh, fourth, the variance will not alter the essential character of the neighborhood. I, I'll point out two examples in just a moment where, uh, two additional examples where uh, there's an, an accessory off-street parking space that exists right near the driveway that were installed many years ago bef that are before the current ordinance was put in place, but just to show that 
uh, it's not unlike other properties in the neighborhood. Um, in addition, um, for the fifth question, the variance will not cause a nuisance to the adjacent property. Um, it would be lo the the parking space would be located away from would be closer to the center of the property as opposed to the the east or the west side of the of the property. The 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 applicants have also stated that their neighbor to the west on you know to the left side of their house has no opposition to their plans. And then the fifth question that the variance represents generally the minimum deviation from requirements of the zoning ordinance nece necessary to accommodate the request. Uh, Essentially, the the ability to for a car to independently pull into the the driveway and onto the accessory parking space requires the setback to be uh, reduced for zero for that purpose. Um, the The way that they have crafted how the the parking space would be designed represents the minimum amount of surface space that could be required so a car could independently depart and uh, arrive at the site. And uh, because of the placement of the, of the garage, um, any vehicle would not really be parked closer to the street than the one currently would be parked in the driveway. So just to quickly show the other two examples that are also along Florida Avenue. First off, that's a close-up of the, of the house just to give you an idea of the depth of where the space would be located, a little bit to the east of the driveway right there and just to give you how close it probably is from the street. Uh, this is a house that's about two blocks down at 116 West Florida. You'll see that there's an accessory parking space just to the, the left of the driveway. And this is actually uh, one or two houses away at 408 West Florida as well. There's a, a space to the west of the car, of the car right there. So with the so with the uh, with the application and the variance criteria considered, the uh, staff recommendation is for the Board of Zoning Appeals to approve the variance to allow reduction in the front yard setback requirement from 25 feet to zero feet with the following conditions, that there is no more than one accessory off-street parking space created in the front yard setback reduction allowed by the variance, and two, that the accessory parking space is paved with an approved surface or properly contained with curbing or approved landscape or edging treatment as required in the zoning ordinance under Section 8 for J. So with that, do you have any questions for me? Thank you for that report. <clears throat> I have a question. Um, in recommendation two, it says the accessory parking space is to be paved. Does that mean they're going to be required to pave the whole thing or just the accessory? They're all the by paved that just means a uh, a surface that is approved in the zoning ordinance but paved does not mean concrete necessarily they're allowed to make it with uh, a, a gravel or several materials one of which like might be, it is like what's currently there yeah they could do that to clarify to clarify their driveway exists as a legal nonconformity as well because it existed before 1990 the accessory parking spaces new accessory parking spaces are allowed to exist with a gravel surface okay. so right. as long as they are contained okay any other questions for staff all right a quick question yes so this um this is the first residence to ask for this since this um the parking's been taken away yes the parking being removed is a relatively recent uh how was actually Yeah, I believe it was just during the traditional uh, evening hours, and the the applicant stated that they would have a habit of parking on the street that would allow one car to freely move during the day, but uh, they can't park on the street at all during the day. So it's interesting. I mean, I'm guessing everybody lost a parking spot every every home here on the street. Cool. Thanks. Any further questions? Thank you. Is the applicant is here to applicant or applicants wish to come forward and speak? Oh, oh. 
All right. We ask that you sign in in addition to speaking. Um, the, uh, you need the, to state your name first. Ah, Itai Segev, 410 West Florida, obviously. Right. And um, I, I just wanted to clarify about this last point. You know, we, um, we would park you know, both cars on the driveway at night, um, partly because of the parking restrictions and partly because uh, um, in uh, one three-month period, one of our cars, which happened to be uh, on the street, was totaled by a drunk driver flying down Florida. And then three months later, um, it was not... Uh, it w was left unharmed, but there, but there were two cars crashed about 10 feet away from our car. So we, you know, certainly, uh, you know, it would have been a convenience in any event, and we were sort of approaching this process even before the on-street uh, on-street parking removal. Um, you know, when there when there was a parking lane there, well, you know, one person could just. Zoom the car. If you needed the car in the driveway, you could zoom the car into the that's on. Sorry, if you needed the car in the garage, you could zoom the car in the driveway to the parking lane, jump out, move the other car to the parking lane, go back in. You know, it was a three-minute nuisance, nuisance, but you know you could do it in, in a hurry if you needed to. Um, you know, now that it's a matter of moving one car to another block and you know that's real and with winter the heart of if winter ever arrives you know <laughs> so um so that is um sort of uh why we are sort of keen so we could you know keep both cars safe and yet independently movable anything else bad that pretty much it <clears throat> does anyone have any questions for the applicant Hearing none, thank you. Does the co-applicant care to speak or not? I'm available for questions. I don't have anything to add. All right. Does anyone have any questions? No. All right. I just have one point. Is there something about, this is kind of in my neighborhood. I guess I should state that correct. I, I can't remember what but I live in the 300 block of Vermont. No, that don't if have. If you have no financial interest no. in this, no. then there's no conflict. Okay, just, just wanted to state that because my um, property is on Exhibit B, so I just wanted to state <laughs> that. All right, then having no further questions, I believe, is there any further discussion? And I believe we're ready f um, to call this for motion or vote. Anybody? Uh, we're ready for motion? Okay. I think so. Um, I move that we approve um, ZBA case 2015 MAJ09, um, the variance to allow a reduction in the front yard setback requirement from 25 feet to zero feet with the following conditions. There's no more than one accessory off-street parking space created in the front yard setback reduction allowed by the variance. And two, the accessory parking space surface is paved with an approved surface or properly contained with curbing or approved landscape edging treatment as required in the zoning ordinance under section um, 8-4.J. Okay, it's been so moved. Um, there's any discussion of the motion I'll second it. All right. The motion is not, I take it there is no discussion on the motion and it's now been seconded. We are now ready for a vote. Mr. Cho? Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Warmbrun? Yes. Mr. Weisskopf? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. And Ms. Chester? 
The motion is approved, uh, and it's approved by the necessary vote required for a major variance and will now be forwarded on to the City Council for their review. Do the staff know when that will January 4th. At their January 4th meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any old business? Any new business? Any audience participation? Is there a staff report for today? Study session? I believe then we are now to the point where we are ready for adjournment. I move that this meeting be adjourned. Any discussion or hearing none, I believe that motion is approved. Thank you and happy holidays.